So we, we have two duct presses for the Canard Alla Press. We have the main one in the back window that you see. That's actually a single duct antique original duct press. We use it for our kitchen table. And then with that you can only fit one duct in it. So um, we had to figure out a way to do more than one duct at a time for the dining room because we go through about 40 ducts a day. So this is Chef Dan who is pressing in our large duct press. Does about 10 ducts at a time. We've got the neck, um, the back, and the ribcage. Uh, so traditionally what would happen is you would press, after you roast the table, or carve the table side, um, you'd move the legs and the breasts, uh, all of the innards would be in it, so the heart, the liver, the kidney, and the lung, and you would press the table side, get the juice out of it, and then mount that into the duck shoe. And we go through about, half gallon of blood a day. And what do you do with the leftover carcass? Do you just discard? No, from this point then we'll make uh, either stock or jus out of it, depending on the day. Um, today, what are you making today, Dan? Jus? Both? So, uh, half of it will be roasted in foaming butter with thyme and garlic, uh, shallot, and then uh, the rest of it goes into a stock pot and we make a traditional roasted duck stock. We initially talked about doing like a sort of French brigade style kitchen with the island uh, as the heat source, but it, and it works great for a French kitchen. But when we start doing Thai food, is it, is it conducive to that style of menu? Or you know, furthermore, when we move into Japanese, maybe we move into a cold menu of all raw stuff. Um, that centralized heat source wasn't really functional. So instead, we want a kitchen that was completely versatile. Yeah. Perfect diamonds and tomato for the top of the leek. So this is sort of our art piece in the back of the uh, restaurant. Um, when you walk in, unlike the Alinea kitchen that sort of stands up on a pedestal and is very bright and very obvious that it's a kitchen, uh, we wanted this to feel more like an extension of the dining room. It draws your eyes in but also kind of nods to the fact that, you know, we're leaning towards new menus and we're moving forward with our menus. So, you know, maybe for this menu we're using common French spices. We have vanilla, and, you know, just spices that you would see in typical French menus along this wall and then nodding towards the next menu we have our Thai chilies up here and you know at any point one of us comes up and smells the spice and looks at it and says maybe this would be good with something and you know it allows us to kind of continue that creative process even while we're not trying to create new things. And of course the hydrocolloids that we don't use for this menu. The traditional French menu there's no hydrocolloids, no stabilizers, nothing unnatural in the whole menu. Uh, gelatin we use, but if you open up a scoffier, there's a recipe for gelatin in the back of the book. You can find crayfish anywhere, like in any pond, in river, and you know, wherever else, but they're not good. Um, it took us a solid two months to really source uh, a good crayfish that didn't taste like dirt, um, was consistent in size. If you notice all these, all the carapace on all of them are pretty much, with the exception of this guy, uh, are pretty much about the same size. So we were we were able to find a purveyor that was willing to hand sort all of our crayfish um, and then purge them in their own river water first before we get them. So we actually get a really clean, uh, not muddy crayfish that, if you notice these right out of the water, they're not they're not dirty. Um, they look more like little lobsters than, you know, mud bugs as people call them. This is for Filet de Sol du Mont. Uh, uh, we get the sole in twice a week. Uh, it's caught on Tuesdays, shipped to us for Wednesday service, and caught on, uh, or brought in to dock Thursday mornings and shipped to us for Friday service. Uh, so the dish features a crayfish head filled with uh, crayfish and fish mousse, uh, deep fried roe, um, sole filet that's actually rolled with the mousse inside of it, um, a fluted mushroom with crayfish tail, and then a glissage of uh, fish fumet and saffron. Okay. They probably have some more.